Hi friends, in this video let us discuss mappings to functions. How the sets are mappings to functions. So let us see first there are two types one is classical sets and fuzzy sets. So in this video we will clearly identify what is meant by membership also and what are the fuzzy sets and how they are different from classical sets based on the mappings to functions. So let us proceed. First the mappings classical sets to functions. How the classical sets are mapped to functions and let us see. This is a very important concept as this is the relation between set theory to function functional theoretical representation. So we need to study this. Let us go to simple example. If there are two things, two universes of disclose. One is capital X and second one is capital Y. And a small and an element in capital X corresponds to the element in capital Y. Maybe that element may be small y in capital Y. Then it will be shown as the mapping from capital X to capital Y. Or F colon capital X tends to capital Y. So this is the representation of mappings to functions. So next and this will be this mapping is characterized and the function is defined as capital X of capital A capital X of A and how this will be defined. This will be defined like this that means if A is if A is something and which is if it is related to small x if it is suppose x is an element and x is belonging to capital A some region then the x a of x will be 1 and if it doesn't belong to capital A then it will be 0. Okay, Let us show the same thing in a graphical manner x a of x is placed on the y axis and x is on x axis then the full membership value is 1 and this is the thing so before the first line, first vertical line, the, all the values are 0 and after the second vertical line, all the values are 0. So in between the two vertical lines, the value is 1. That means this is capital A and if capital A belongs to small, suppose if X is belongs to capital A, then the value will be full membership. So that is 1 and if doesn't belongs, then it will be the value will be 0. So up to the first vertical line all the values are zeros and after the second vertical line all the values are 0. So in between these two only the membership value is 1. Now next let us discuss what is membership and capital XA is defined as membership, membership of a set A for the element X in the universe. Okay, these things that means the membership of set A is 1 if X belongs to capital A and the membership of set A is 0 if X doesn't belong to capital A. So that's the concept of membership. See, this membership is mapping from an element in small x in universe of disclose capital X to one of the elements and it has to be mapped to one of the elements in capital Y where the elements are either 0 or 1. Simple. Yeah. If for any set A, for any set A there exists the function, function theoretical set and that set is called value set. So that is represented as capital V of A. So it will be under the mapping of characteristic function zeta or capital X. So by convention we can say that if it is a null set then the assigned membership value is 0. If it is a whole set the assigned membership value is 1. Coming to fuzzy sets. Fuzzy sets means in classical sets or crisp sets the transition from membership value to non-membership value is abrupt that means suddenly it will be 
suddenly it will there is a change from 0 to 1 as we have seen in the last figure but here coming to fuzzy sets the transition is gradual it won't be sudden sudden rise so it is the it is a, a gradual increase and gradual decrease will be there so in the in those values from gradual increment those values have some somewhere those values have the membership value in between 0 and 1 so in fuzzy sets there may be some the membership value may be 0 or 1 or any other value in between 0 and 1 yeah so a set containing elements that have varying degree of membership is called fuzzy set so okay this is the fuzzy set that means it, it is having variable varying degrees of membership in between g, either 0 or 1 or any other value in between 0 and 1 yeah this is exactly contrast contrast with the classical sets because in a classical set a membership is, is some something is belonging to some universe of disclosed mean the membership should be complete that means it should the membership should be value one if but coming to in fuzzy sets the membership need not be complete that means it, it may not be one it may be any value from zero to one so we can so the membership value may be any value so an element in one fuzzy set may belong to some other fuzzy set in the same universe of disclosed may be having with different membership value so that is the contrast between the classical set and the fuzzy set so in, in a classical set an element belongs to a classical set means it doesn't belong to other classical sets but in fuzzy set an element belong to one fuzzy set means it, the same element may belong to some other fuzzy set in the same universe of disclose may be with other membership value but in classical sets there are only two membership value one is zero and other one is one if it is one it belongs means the value is one this doesn't belongs means the value is zero so coming to notations when the universe of disclose is discrete and finite that means it is having discrete values so obviously the number of values are finite number then the fuzzy set will will be represented like this a means it's a fuzzy set a which is equal to new a of x1 by x1 plus new a of x2 by x2 plus and so on that means new a of x1 is the membership value at point x1 Similarly, new A of X2 is the membership value at point X2 and it will be continued. And here the plus sign doesn't represent the sum of all but it simply shows that all are by adding all the fuzzy set will be coming. That means it doesn't, it, we cannot uh, simply add them. Okay, it's representation so we should not add it. And coming to continuous and infinite fuzzy set, it, it will be integration. So it is a continuous thing, so we need to integrate it. So integral of mu a of x by x. So this is the thing and let us see the graph also. So this is the graphical representation x a and x. This is full membership 1. Yeah, here it is a gradual change from non-membership that means the membership value is 0 to full membership the membership value is 1 it's a gradual increment and also gradual decrement let me take an example for this and if this is the one of the graphs same graph i have taken if the value is in between the value is 0.5 at 1 the value is 0 at 2 the value is 0 0.5 at 3 the value is 1 at 4 the value is 0.5 at 5 the value is 0 okay let me consider like this and now please see how we have to represent the same fuzzy set so this is the representation that means at 
point 1 the value is 0 at point 2 the membership value is 0.5 at point 3 the membership value is 1 at point 4 the membership value is 0.5 and at point 5 the membership value is 0 so this is the representation of fuzzy sets so numerical value will give us the membership value and denominator value will give us the number that means number in the on the x axis so this is the complete explanation regarding mappings to functions so thank you very much for 1060 plus subscriptions and we are very happy for this and if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video please share with your friends and family if you haven't subscribed till date kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and please play, press on the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload the videos i actually i need to take around 10 to 15 classes on fuzzy logic so i will surely complete them within 10 to 15 days only so please try to follow so that you will get the benefit out of it thank you thank you so much